Whoa, 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 whoa. All the things I've made, this switch seems to work every single time. Did, did the door show up? I'm hoping this showed up. I'm not even gonna look. I hope there, a door is supposed to show up right there. So anyways, this video, let's get back, let's get on to things. I'm Ryan and I've been hacking things my whole life. This video is about laser cutting. It's about 3D printing. I'm 3D printing this tiny little switch that goes onto a mouth guard. It may potentially help you out with some other things that you're, you're, you have going on in your life with stress. This is about making a laser cutter jig. It's about attaching a switch to a mouth guard. This is a mouth guard that I bought from the drugstore. And it is this jig is, do you know what a jig is? A jig is something that you make that can glue two things together or multiple things or make a pocket hole. It's something that makes a job easier. This was done with a quarter inch acrylic on the Glowforge laser cutter. I think that that machine is an amazing thing to invent and prototype. We're going to do all of that. We're going to talk about how to add this switch to the top of this guard and all that other stuff. It is going to be a pack fill episode, but I have something way more exciting. Um, is, the door, is the door still there? Way more exciting for you because I have to tell you something. We have made a milestone. We together have got to 5,000 subscribers. I cannot believe it. I absolutely, I, I mean, I really started this channel to learn 3D design. I started it to get some scholarships for people to get young people to get into engineering and design camps and it really has been a long fun adventure we have welded bikes together we have done all we made a drill bike we've done go-karts we've done all these really exciting things and i really appreciate the fact that you've been on this journey with me um, today's a laser cutter video i have other videos coming up um, i'm really excited about this product because i have been i'm going to explain this in the video actually let's let's get going we're gonna do that all today here on the hack lab what's really cool about that door if I want it to be gone that's how I've been getting places um, I've just, I, I could have got a Tesla, but I figured why not make a door that I could transport from one place to the other. I'm not sure why I chose red. Maybe because it's Hack Lab's colors. I don't know. Anyways, let's talk about this jig. This is really, really important. Um, I'm going to give you a close up it, up of it right now. Um, it is made of um, multiple different parts. It is done inside of Illustrator. I have, of course, have the file down below. It fits any mouth guard to do two different holes inside of a mouth guard, and I can explain what that is. But more importantly, I want you to understand from making income with your laser cutter or making income um, in general, think about making tools for people um, if you want to make any type of side hustle income, it may be something for you. So you got to laser cut this jig out or you can just buy this jig for me that will let you drill two holes inside of any mouth guard. You can buy tons of mouth guards. Just go to your drug store. You, here's a really neat, uh, a ni nice kit that you can buy that you can actually mold your own night guard inside of your house. So really it's a trial and error. There's places that will do the custom ones. This particular night guard right here places, um, places it on your front of your teeth so your teeth don't touch. You boil this and you put this in your mouth. Um, so the idea was, why don't I make a switch that, um, or find a switch that you put on the front of your teeth that, that it reactivates that neurological impulse that when you bite down, you will let go or relax. Just go ahead and put a pencil inside your front of your mouth and you can see that neurological impulse where your jaw will relax. Now, 
Um, what I'm talking about is bruxism, which is clenching, and that is something that happens when you're at night, you just kind of clench due to stress. Maybe you don't know why you had it a lot. Maybe when you're young, you had it, or when you're an adult going through stress, the whole point is trying to get rid of it. So why don't I just make a switch, okay? You know, I got this hack lab here. Why don't I just make a switch that goes in the front of the, any mouth guard that's activated? So I created another product that I have that I call Bite Mount, and then what it is is it's a a special little um, uh, light that goes inside of your mouth and when you bite down on it it lights it up and then I designed that to go along with a GoPro and that GoPro can actually have light as you're filming so let's say that you don't have any use of your hands or you're doing something else you can control the light on your subject um, by using this little project called bite mount which is something that um, I am in the process of inventing but this is what we're going for here today, what I'm explaining. And this is the mouth guard. This is a stress guard um, right here. This is called the stress guard. And this is something that doesn't require boiling. You do need to trim it with where it is comfortable very carefully. But once you trim it, that's it. And so this little switch that you can add to the front is connected to a cell phone vibration unit that will vibrate and let you know, hey, you're clenching. Or if you want to use it just as sort of a therapeutic tool and squeeze it during the day, that's kind of up to you of course I've done all the disclaimers at the beginning of my video this is not for medical use it's I'm not selling a medical product and you have to use at your own risk and of course anything that you buy out there and you do is a potential choking hazard I love you all right so what you want to do is you want to place this switch using a two holes that are created with an eighth inch drill bit once you, you get your drill bit, you want to get a pair of nice needle nose pliers. Along with the needle nose pliers, I would suggest you get a little pair of these little snips and these clippers. These um, snips and these clippers are really, really um, helpful for me. They're probably my most used tools. I'm not sure exactly why these colors don't match, but it doesn't matter. So again, this is what we're going after. The key is, Adding a switch at the front, which you could make or you could have your nephew make or something like that, and then getting that to just activate a cell phone vibration unit. Of course, of course, this has to be moisture resistant and use BPA free filament, which will not cause you any other issues. And it can't have odor or taste, you know, which all that stuff that I do. I've used this and I have eliminated my headaches. I wake up feeling great. This has worked for me. I'm not suggesting that you use it for anything, but you get the point. Okay, so by the way, I did apply for a provisional patent on this. So if you want to partner with me on this design, I'd be happy to um, work with you on that. I have a bag of prototypes here that I've made over the last year um, and I have learned a ton of information that I'm not sharing here about this and have tons of new ideas. So if you're looking forward, if you're a dentist, if you want to partner with me, please contact me at hacklablive at gmail.com. Okay, so you have a switch here. Um, you want to have two holes in that switch. These holes are an eighth of an inch um, a eighth of an inch in diameter. There are two little plastic pins that are flexible so they don't hurt your teeth. And you want to pull those pins um, through the top. I also have I made another version of this switch that I'm calling the bite mount. It has a flashlight in the front, but you could also just use the vibration unit. And that is it hooks up to a GoPro. And if you bite down on it, it will light the way um, of whatever you're shooting in film. So for this particular one, of course, we're gonna be attaching it to here. And the way that we're gonna do that is use this little nifty little jig. This was created on my laser cutter, Glowforge. If you're interested in a laser cutter and making prototypes, I use them all from I use the laser cutter for making all types of things like electronic boards and everything else. It is one of the best machines, the Glowforge laser cutter. I have a referral link below to save you a load of money to $500 coupon um, if you get the Glowforge Pro. 
So you want to put your mouth guard inside of this little jig. We're, again, we're trying to drill two holes to fasten this little switch that will alert you in the night. Um, and then once you get your, um, your, any of your mouth guards inside there, you inside of this little jig, you put in this little tiny ad adjustment um, positioner here, and you make sure that those holes are lined up where right where you want them to go once you get that there is a hole jig that goes in the front and this is clear so i'm going to move it around here so you can see that there's an a side and a b side each one of those has a different hole configuration based on where you want the mouth guard to go so i'm going to place this on the a side and you can see here now that I have everything lined up with where I want it to go and I'm going to position that there and as soon as I do that I'm going to grab my drill. Now I know this is not a sterile drill. This is a, my favorite drill because it's my colors but um, I have no sponsor or anything. And then once that happens, you want to choose the set of holes. You want to, once that is all set up in position, choose the set of holes that you're going to drill. And you simply want to drill all the way through each of the mouth guard there. And then once you're done, you want to take apart the jig and take out your mouth guard that has these two beautiful perfectly spaced holes that are 1 8 inch um, in diameter just a slightly below this little plastic pin you want to position this mouth guard over and put the pins it through the actual holes it's very important that they're really snug and so now that you have these two pins that are outside there, you want to grab these little pliers and you want to pull that pin all the way through that little tiny hole there so that that pin's not sticking out. Again, I am just rolling this pin there, pulling that this this little plastic little pin up and you can see that it's held really nicely and the last thing that you're going to want to do is to go inside of that guard and again you can use any guard that you want you just need to put a switch on the front and you want to just snap off that little pin there and that's it you can solve it there's lots of things you can do um, just a lot a little bit of tips obviously make sure that you stay hydrated try meditation before you go to sleep um, there's lots of things you can do basically training your mind to calm down I have two different devices that I track my data and I can look at when I had a stressful day I definitely have um, make sure to hydrate before I go to bed. Um, you will pay for it if you drink alcohol before you go to bed. Make, try to keep that away from when you go to bed, mainly because of the hydration issue. Um, and also if you're dealing with some stress, um, it's definitely gonna be um, worse if you, are, if you go to bed with a lot of booze in you. So just uh, heads up on that. So anyways, um, I'm sorry that this is a really stressful time for us. I'm thinking about you um, and uh, this is just um, exciting to have the 5,000 subs and I'm really glad that you've been part of this journey. So take care. Whatever you do, make something, whether or not it's in your kitchen, living room, attic, wherever it is, make something that connects someone else. Take care, guys. Bye.